Okay, uh, let's begin by, um, here we are, it's uh, end of February now, and how do you evaluate your, your season to this point? Uh, I think I've been playing really well. I'm playing with good line mates and Jonathan Huberto and Stanislav Galliev, and they've been helping me out a lot. Um, I kind of overachieved a little bit on what I thought was going to happen this season, but um, I'm really happy with how it's going, obviously, and I hope I can just keep it up. Overachieve in the sense of what you've been able to produce point wise Oh uh, yeah, um, you know, last year I had a little bit of a lesser role on the team. Uh, this year they have stepped in and they've uh, given me an opportunity to play, and I think I'm playing really well. And um, and yeah, just trying to keep it up. Did you set goals? A lot of players set numbers for the first of the year, and uh, to hopefully to attain them. You sound like you surpassed. Um, not too much. I uh, try not to focus on the numbers coming into it, just kind of play hockey and see what happens. Um, this being my draft year, obviously I wanted to, to put some points up and um, I think I'm doing okay at it so far. Yeah, you mentioned this is your draft year. Uh, I don't know if it's, uh, it can be a distraction for some players, uh, others not. How do you deal with it? Um, I just try not to think about it, realize that every game um, there's going to be people in the stands, uh, so I try not to, to worry about it too much and just come in and play my game and uh, hopefully the scouts like it. What is your game? Describe for a fan that's never seen you play. Zach Phillips, who is he? What's he doing? Um, I like to move the puck a lot. Um, I think my vision in my hands, uh, just, just my puck skills, uh, are, are basically my strong point in my game. And uh, just try to distribute to my line mates and other guys on the ice and uh, make the players around me better. Someone suggested you'll be a first round NHL pick. What, what, what do you do when you hear that? Um, you know, it's obviously flattering. Uh, it's something that you dream about since you were little, watching the draft and seeing the people go up and get the jersey and the hat and things like that. Um, I try not to focus on it too much because everyone has their opinions. Um, you know, some people's opinions might not be the same as the NHL scouts, um, but you know, we'll see and, uh, and hopefully it can, can happen. Is there any good-natured kidding going on in that room? It sounds like there's three or four players that potentially could be first round. Uh, a little bit. Um, there was a little more at the start, but as, as it comes down closer to it, everyone's getting a little bit more uh, more edgy about it. So we try to uh, try to stay away from it. But um, but you know, we all we all get along really well, and we're all good friends, and uh, we just wish the best for each other. Okay, this is a little bit of a difficult question, but. If there's one thing that the scouts don't know about you, I mean, they can they see you on the ice, they know your numbers, they can do some research into it, but is there one thing that they perhaps don't know about you that they, they should know come draft day? Um, I guess the thing that they don't really know would be, um, you know, most skilled guys are afraid to uh, to kind of to kind of play gritty and things like that, and um, I'm definitely not afraid to do that. I like to go to the front of the net and then mix up a little bit, whether it's chirping or, or doing whatever I can to kind of kind of just work hard and, and mix things up a little bit. So, so that's something that a lot of people don't realize about skilled guys is that um, you know, I'm willing to do those things. As a pro, who's playing pro hockey, what type of player will he become for three or four years? For me, he's going to be a, a two-way player that's going to be a very talented offensive player. He's going to be, he could, you know, the thing about Zach is you want, him to, you want to say he's a great pass from, and he's a disher, but he scores some real nice goals. He, he's got a great shot. So I think he's going to be a real good, solid, worst-case scenario, second-line guy, and he could be a first-line guy. He's got to get the. He talks about his feet and get his feet moving a little bit more. But uh, his vision with the puck and power play type of guy, he's you know he's got a good chance to be great. I was kidding, uh, talking about the, the, the ribbing in the room about uh, who's going to go in the first round. Of course, some are suggesting as many as five. Uh, sea Dogs might go in the first round. Uh, does, where, where does he fit in your mind? And I know you're not a skill, you're a coach, but where does he fit in that first round? Just from what I'm hearing, anywhere from 15 to 30. You know what I mean? It's it's different guys talking all the time, and the way he's played, probably ever since the prospects game, and the way he's come back, and he's very very played and played very well. So you know, different guys are talking about you know first round somewhere in the first round, and a little while ago was somewhere early in the second round. So it's I think it's going to depend on how far we go and how well he does, and uh, you know we got to keep playing and keep playing well.